So to access the gem, the gem, uh, gem quest, you can do the crafting or the uh, the priority quest that you unlock at twenty. Uh, but you come to was it Kovioshad? I don't even know how to say that right. Uh, and she's right over here by the rings and amulets in Dania. Uh, and once you hit twenty, you get the priority quest to come learn how to jewel craft, if you will, and upgrade. All of this is similar to Diablo three. Okay, so you have unsocketed items directly in inventory. Add, you can add so sockets to an item and upgrade jewelry. So for example, if I wanted to add a socket, right, I can put an item in here. A rare item, it has to be a rare item or higher. Um, or actually, you can do blues. So you can do blues too, which is really nice. Oops. So you put the item in there, and then you need scattered prisms. And then, of course, gold to add a socket. And then on rare items, it's the same thing, which is really cool. Then you can upgrade an item, all your jewelry. This is similar to, like, upgrading at the blacksmith for your weapons and stuff. So you can upgrade this three tiers, which is really nice. All right. And then we have unsocket, so you can unsocket something. Like, if I had stuff in here, just like from Diablo 3, if, you ha if I had gems in here, I could probably unsocket. But we can craft gems now. So we got amethyst, emeralds, and each of these are going to do something different, just like they do from the last Diablo. But in this one, they all do more because there's more stat priority. So the chipped amethyst. Now, each one is going to do the, the same thing, the overpower. But as you level them up, they're just going to do more damage. So chipped amethyst does 5% weapon damage, or yeah, 5% damage over time. 8.2% damage taken over time reduction and then shadow resistance the emeralds do critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies which is probably something we want because we're playing rogue armor we don't care about it but that's 39 thorns and then poison resistance the chipped rubies do overpower damage maximum life increase and then fire resistance topazes do lightning resistance damage reduction against control while being controlled impaired basic skill damage which is which is important and then chip sapphires do critical strike damage to crowd controlled enemies. Uh, armor 5% damage reduction while fortified and then cold resistance. And then the chip diamond is 5% ultimate skill, which we don't have yet. And then armor and then five resist to all. So the diamonds are going to be your all resist similar to Diablo 3. Each of the other five are going to hit all the elements. So lightning, cold, fire poison and then shadow which is really cool and then you have the skulls which give light life on kills five percent healing received and then armor so this is similar to like rubies and stuff that you would place in your sockets now what we can do is we can upgrade these i probably want critical strike strike damage to vulnerable enemies because i'm playing rogue the overpower doesn't really do much for me right now and basic skill damage is pretty good so because we have vulnerable enemy stuff, we probably want to do that. So let's, we can upgrade one because we have three of the crude emeralds. Cost 4,500 to craft. So let's craft one. Boom. And then we can just throw it in our item. And then we have the seven and a half percent critical strike damage, which is really, really cool. So the crafting gems. Now, again, I can come in here and unsocket this, right? take it right back out super easy to do to do and then i can even add now the weapon has two so as i showed before with the armor you can go in here and increase this to two so one that already has on there you can increase it by one more which is really really nice and then you can also upgrade the jewelry as we mentioned but we're going to put that on our weapon which is really cool and then let's see the five percent damage over time seems okay we do have armor slots so we probably want to uh let's see we probably want we're not fortified ever so we probably want we probably want the chip topaz which we'll put in our weapon for basic damage and then for this 8.2 percent damage taken over time reduction chipped ruby gives us maximum life which i really like so we could add this into our pants which is nice and then then this is five percent damage reduction while fortified we're not fortified so 
and then this is damage over time or shadow resistance so a lot of this is really really cool guys gem crafting is super easy um, it's similar concepts to Diablo 3 guys so there's not a whole lot that really changed with this the only thing is that now the all the gems do something different um, they actually have effects that really work into jewelry last time in Diablo 3 we really don't have that um, so I really like this balance and then the chip skulls which are really nice I like that chip diamonds and chip skulls are kind of like the top tier echelon of the diamonds they're they're harder to get you know than the other ones in a sense because like i found all the other ones fairly easy these two didn't come by super easy to get and then i don't think that you can re-roll that because the diamond you know the gems are just set so uh but but yeah, this is diamonds, guys, or gems, how to craft them, how to use this entire menu. It's really super simple, guys, so make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, and as always, stay gaming. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.